episode 13 or chapter 94, depending on how you're keeping track. Um, I love this episode. Even though I said it was going to make me bitter for at least two days, I loved it. It's Monday. The new episode comes on Wednesday, so I'm cool now. I'm, I'm over it. I'm okay, but I really, really love this episode, and I think it's like probably my favorite this season. Um, it's kind of hard to keep track, and plus I'm foolishly re-watching the last four seasons, and I'm, I made it to season four, and I'm realizing that, like, maybe I didn't pay that close attention. I did just have a, like, I think I had a, a walking baby at the time, like a new walker, so it, it may have been that. I feel like I didn't pay as close attention to it as I thought I did. It feels like new information for some reason, but also I do tend to rewatch season one a lot, and like forget about the other ones so that could be why I just I only watched season four the one time like that's silly so remember in the last episode Raph told Jane he still loves her and then they made out a lot and this episode opens with a series of sex scenes that I did not mind um Jane and Raph are super cute and playful throughout the entire episode and I loved every second of it it was delicious um they decide to pick up where they left off which would have been moving in together so as Jane's like getting her things together and moving on out, she tells Zoe and Alba that she and Rap are back together forever and ever was her quote. And that just seemed like a bad omen to me. Did it to you? Because in, like, Jane the Virgin world, we're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. And it's like, you just always have to be on edge and prepare for the twist. And I'm like, don't play with me. But I let it go. I let it go. And just, I went with it. I just went with it. And Jorge decides he wants to have a family game night. And we find out that Loteria, or um, essentially, like, Mexican bingo is a no-no in the Villanueva household. I say Mexican. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know other Latinos play it, but like I associate it with Mexican. I'm Mexican. So <laughs> anyway, we are treated to several flashbacks of Zoe with Alba and her dad. And Alba and Zoe's hairdos are amazing. Um, just hello mullet and mushroom cut. It was amazing. Anyway, basically to sum up the Loteria incident, Zoe wanted to drop out of school to join a camp where she learned to be a Disney theme park type character um like be a teapot or something and um Alba decides that she'll play Zoe in a game of Loteria and if Alba wins Zoe has to stay home and continue going to school so Alba wins and it causes like a huge thing and Zoe accuses her of cheating it gets super heated Alba later reveals that it was her father Mateo who cheated so that Zoe wouldn't win because he wanted her to have a good education and Zoe actually kind of gets um in present time as an adult Zoe is actually hurt by that news because she just felt like, I guess it's hard when you think that you have a certain kind of relationship with your dad, and then you're like, wait, what? He thought I was going to fail. He didn't want me to live my dream. Um, anyway, back in the present day, Jane is anxious to get engaged, and Raph hides the ring and tricked her a few times. And like the episode moved really fast, by the way, too, so it did not disappoint. But um, he tricked her a few times into thinking he was going to propose, and like really he just like kind of like the bend down to tie your shoe type thing. Um, Petra stops by Raphael's apartment and discovers that he and Jane have been having sex, and she finds Jane's um, uniform on the floor. But she's a little irritated but claims to be thrilled for them, and Petra is also depending on Krishna to help her get court documents submitted, which made me very nervous, Um, like her court, her trial with Milos. Um, Krishna is being a bit difficult and, like, sticking to her guns and, like, nope, I have two minutes left in my break, go after yourself. But Krishna ends up visiting Milos in jail again. All right, so it is family game night, and Raph asks to be the caller for Loteria so he can learn how to play by watching everyone else. And he reads the riddles or the little sayings as they argue um, on the cards. And I have to admit, I never played it like that. I was not aware. I had to look it up, and I was like, damn sure there's riddles on them. Um, so first is La Sirena, the mermaid. Second, El Arbol, or the tree. And then he reads the riddle for the third card and says something about, um, I don't remember the riddle, but it isn't the one that I found on the actual Loteria card, but he says something about a place to put a ring. Anyway, it's La Mano, and Jane turns to Raphael to find a box with a ring inside. I did not expect for the proposal to come this soon. I thought, like, the soonest would be the end of this episode. Like, I was like, okay, it'll happen this episode, but, like, not, like, the first 10 minutes. So anyway, it was the best proposal ever, and I also need to hear Raphael speak Spanish again because it was delicious. Again, I keep using that word. I was like, you just don't understand, guys. This episode was delicious. So Mateo is now taking um, medication for his ADHD. He doesn't appear to be very excited about his parents moving back in together or the engagement. And so everyone thinks it's the medication, but Jane and Raph chat with Mateo later, and he says he isn't excited because he doesn't believe they'll actually do it, which, like, I feel you, Mateo. 
Um, so Jane and Raph decide to get married at the courthouse in a week um, since they've both already had big weddings. Rogelio is ready to wrap the pilot episode of This Is Mars up, but he finds out that he is the reason they need reshoots. Uh, bless his heart. I cannot believe this show is a thing. But anyway, it is happening. Um, Rogelio's electronic tail has been labeled a pilot killer, so he now has to practice walking around with it in front of God and everybody attached to his butt. But he's a trooper. Uh, then later, Zoe has a doctor's appointment, but she's acting a little suspicious, and she ignores her doctor's calls and then even leaves the room to eventually talk on the phone. Everyone thinks the cancer has possibly come back, but it turns out that Zoe is actually talking with her nurse to pick her brain because she's thinking of going to nursing school, which everyone loves. Um, everybody loves the idea. They're super excited. But Zoe gets um, scared and changes her mind, which nobody's happy about. So Alba decides to make another Loteria wager. This time, Alba does cheat and is caught, and it causes a big blow-up. But later, Rogelio gets real with Zoe and tells her, like, no, you tried for five minutes, you didn't understand a word, and you got scared, it was too hard, and you gave up. And Zoe admits that he's right, and, um, yeah, they make up. End of that. Then Jane goes to speak with Petra, and she, like, checks in about, like, the whole Milo situation, but Petra keeps, like, cutting her off and kind of trying to shoo her away, and so Jane's like, hey, what's going on? Like, what's the deal? And Petra says that she's upset with Jane because Jane's wedding with Raphael was her only chance to be someone's maid of honor. So then Jane and Raph get their marriage license, and they start to realize a courthouse wedding isn't terribly glamorous. Especially this courthouse, it was disgusting. <laughs> it's like, all right, calm down. Mateo makes a comment about Raph and Jane rushing into marriage so that Michael doesn't come back and steal Jane again, and this makes Raph, like, visibly upset, and he eventually asks Jane what happens between her and Michael in Montana. She tells him they kiss, but she loves Raphael, nothing else happened, that was that, it's all good, um, but he still seems to be kind of bothered by it. So Jane gets stuck in a sewing machine also um, while trying to fix the hideous bridesmaid's dress that she got for Petra. Um, just trying to be nice and thoughtful and inclusive. And she ends up with a black eye and a stiff neck that also then leads to a neck brace. We also find out Milos gave his two-thirds share of the hotel to Krishna. At first, it looks like Krishna is going to be, like, running things, but she was actually working with Petra all along, which is what I was hoping for. Now she can give the shares to Petra, making her 100% owner of the Marbella, and I really hope that it goes that way. Um, then Petra tells Jane she didn't actually care about being the maid of honor. She was just worried that Milos bugged her office, and Jane started asking about him, so she used the maid of honor thing to kick Jane out. Um, then Jane unravels and just comes clean about not wanting a rushed courthouse wedding, but she feels like she owes Raphael after everything she put him through. Petra talks to Raph because she's picked up on this, and, you know, Jane's mood and attitude about the whole thing. Raph says he wants to lock it down before something else happens. So Petra says JR thought that she could let go of the past and things didn't work out between them. So does Raph really think that he can let go of the past and be okay with Jane? Because, of course, this is not a way to start a marriage, y'all. Naturally, Raphael says he doesn't know if he can forgive Jane because God damn it. So then, for fuck's sake, Raphael and Jane, on the day of their courthouse wedding, tell each other that they don't want to get married today. Jane, because she wants to plan at an actual wedding, and Raphael, because he isn't sure that he trusts Jane. So that's cute. Jane is able to comfort him, and I can't even take when Raphael tears up anymore. Like, it just breaks my heart, and she just better quit. Um, and Jane has the most patient family ever, by the way, because how many times has she gone back and forth? First of all, between Raphael and Michael but then how many times was she gonna get married and like then cancel the wedding with Michael like how many times did that go down it's ridiculous ridiculous um she's so damn wishy-washy but whatever um so the wedding is off and Zoe decides to go to nursing school and Ro figures out his tail so high five Jane and Raphael fight over Petra being their maid of honor slash best man I'm not sure I would want my husband's ex-wife in my wedding at all but they figure like they've all gotten really close Petra knows Raphael really well. She and Jane are BFFs. They're all family, so they figure it would be a wonderful sentiment to include this crazy person that has done un the unthinkable to them. <laughs> but I guess, you know, there's been weirder on this show, right? So ultimately, Raph wins Petra. Petra will be the best woman. Then Jane and Raph remember Mateo, and they don't want him to think that, oh no, they're not getting married again. Yet again, it's not working out. So, to keep their word, they stage a fake wedding for Mateo in front of all of his stuffed animals. And it's very, very cute. The episode ends with the narrator saying, if only their real wedding would go this smoothly. And he says, but alas, it just wasn't in the cards.